Hello guys and welcome back to some more in the east. Now we'll begin as always up in the north. Uh, up in the north, yeah. And now, okay, so the Finns have broken through our front line and taken Vyborg, unfortunately. Uh, and also routed this the 21st tank division, so. Got a naval brigade here. It's gonna move. Gonna move the tank division and uh, rifle division back. Oh, you can't cross. Okay, you can't cross. The, you have to go the long way around. Okay. So I'm gonna move this there. And you can be. I oh don't know. You. Yeah. You rebuild. Keep it like that. The fins are still advancing here, and I need to fill up this line. And we don't have a lot of stuff. That's not a frontline unit. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more divisions up there. Let's have a look at Chuck Report on as well. Um, yeah, those two, uh, yeah, Fortify Region surrendering. Still haven't seen where his infantry divisions are. It's man. Oh, I can only can see the Panzer divisions and um, motorized divisions, but his infantry are still. Yeah, he's got three. There's more. There's some more somewhere. Oh, he's finally taking Tallinn. We treated. Did inflict some damage on the uh, Germans though. 800 men lost. That's pretty good. Uh, that HE is yeah, just there. Oh, we held. There we go. What well, was it? The security division uh, versus the rifle brigade and border regiment. We still held. That's pretty good. Another victory for us. Oh, and we held here. Um, in well, uh, it was close, but we held. The Germans lost more than us. We also had 44 bombers, and we lost nine of them. So yeah, there you go. And they're pushing through here. Oh, sorry. Um, a routed unit, so they're pushing through. Finally, push back our. Uh, airborne brigades. Oh, and they made a big push along here. Okay. So this has now become a breakthrough area, unfortunately, and there's no... We don't have much to hold them back. So Minister's got quite a bit of men, though, which is good. Running through there as well. These three divisions are trapped. Pushed again to the side of the river. I'll just recapture it just to slow them down, because it's slowing them down. Um, haven't made any movements along here. Good. Or oh, the attack, they attacked uh, Kiev. We held. Look at that 1,155 combat power. Wow. And th with three, uh, three artillery regiments and uh, one uh, anti aircraft battalion. We shot down three bombers. They had 203 uh, fighters. We had 124 uh, 24 fighters and we lost 24 of them. 40, 44 bombers and we lost 17 of them. That would be an epic fight. We had 3,000 combo power. They had 2,000. And a fort level fell though. Down to... Oh. Yeah. Still... Uh, from 3, it's, it doesn't count as 3 in your mill. If we destroyed damaged... Uh, how much damage would that do? Wait, uh... Oh, we did more damage to them. Yeah, good. But another uh, 64. That's good. That would, be, that would be an epic battle. Right, who was it involving? The 99th Jaeger Division, the 111th Infantry, the 290, uh, 99th Infantry Division, with uh, Mountain Naval Warfare. I'm pretty sure it's Naval Warfare Battalion. And two more Infantry Divisions. That had a huge increase, because, uh, probably because of the Engineer Valley. Oops. What was that? <laughs> okay. Uh, but they've crossed the river here. Um, with the 13th Panzer Corps. Retreating. I don't want them to cut off Kiev, because that would be very bad. Um, they're also broken through here, but they haven't touched anything else. Okay. So, let's go back. Oh, let's have a quick look at the Vient Log. Still got to be forecast clear. I only have four, th four units that are isolated, which is good. Got more uh, men arriving. 
Probably gonna be Sister Center where that's the main push. Uh, that's where the main push is at the moment. Uh, more Parson Battalions forming, but. Oh, we've got five out in the field right now. Is he up north? Yeah, there's one here. They're filling out, but they don't have any supply. Yeah. There's 62 men in this one. This is a one person. Oh, wait. Uh, not one person squad. Uh, there was one damage. Um, this one high in fatigue. This one actually has one combat power. Yeah. Really low morale as well. Well, they're there. One day they'll, um, when they get enough men and supply, they'll do something. Okay. So let's go back up north. They still haven't crossed the line, which is good. Need to send men up here, which is, yeah, and I don't have enough. Which is not so good. We've got the 48th army as well. We'll probably move them up here. Hot line hunting strong. Let's see what full level. 3, 4, 10% to level 5. You need to build quickly because you're the weakest one. But you do have the first tank division, which is pretty strong. So, uh, I've got a few. Uh, oh, this is level two. Focus of all the divisions here, which is good. Nice and good defense. Uh, probably, uh, probably should just hold that so we have a land bridge as well as. Um, as well as the uh, the lake and the water, water, you know, water connection. There we go. Word. Um, but anyway, let's move down. Not gonna play with any of this. Holding strong for now. Yeah, looking good here. Okay, so this is the first problem. So um, we have. Oh boy, 1-1. One, one. You're not doing too good. Uh, your morale's okay, but your table of equipment's pretty low. Uh, you got an army in you, so you can leave. Get you there. Don't want to give this position up. We could just move everything back and just be beaten back again, but I don't know. Uh, it's an option. Where's your HQ? Oh, there. Okay, you're not swung these guys. Okay, you get there. Um, okay. Let's... Let's just reinforce this area. Yeah, we got two airborne brigades, which is unfortunate. Really like that. They're gonna be pushed back again. But at least to stabilize it for now. Holding and then this mess. Boy. Look at all those Panzer and motorized divisions. Um, yeah, first of all, we're gonna retreat. Uh, let's get the airbase out here out first. Retreat, okay, we're gonna retreat this city interdiction. Oh, one, one, one fighter lost for two of theirs. Uh, no, one, two of ours. <laughs> Um, okay, so the 13th army is not supplying anyone at the moment, which is also interdicted. Uh, this tank division is broken completely. This airbase probably should fall back. Oh, we just lost a bomber as well. Um, yeah, okay, we need to send men to fix this, like, immediately. We can also establish a new line here. Okay, we have the, the, these guys. We've got these three divisions. We could spread down to what, one, two, three. We need, oh, we need a lot, a lot more men here. A lot more men. Um, but let's just, let's just start with that. So move you here. Okay, let's start with that. Uh, Ed, we need a HQ to attach it to. Um, 
I should. I've treated you there just to, you know, uh, just to make it more difficult. Even though it's not too much more, but anyway. Uh, you that are. Uh, you two. Wait. Need to retreat. More interdiction. Boy, he's, he's got a lot of air bases near here. Uh, actually, no, you knew if he was second supply your men still. Okay, uh, you two, move up. You need to be attached to the 29th Army. Okay, and you two can move up here. Again with the interdictions. And I'll attach both of you to the 29th Army as well. Just need the one more division here. They want to move it from its, you know, building up here because I want some it's gonna be hard to take. Um, could move uh, one division just down there, but oh, uh, these two are blocking the road to some and uh, wait, where's oh your HQ is down here anyway? So look, I'll just move you down there. Oh wait, no, where's your HQ? Yeah, there. Okay, good. This is just blocking them and slows them down. That's all we're doing. Okay. Buying for, waiting for time until winter comes. Okay, so we'll come back to that because that needs a lot of reinforcements. Uh, you, we take that. Uh, Kelly Division, take that back. Kelly Division, take that back. That's like a six defense, that's pretty good. Looking down, okay, now here. D I did not want to lose Kiev. It's a big, big city. Okay. Can we push this division back? Apparently you're not supplying the men in here. Let's move it forward a little bit. A little bit more. Oops, I've also moved their base. Investment back. He's smiling them out, yes, okay, good. Yeah, probably not good to just have the single cavalry division defending. Don't have any reserves, so we're just gonna wait, come back to that. Okay, holding pretty strong, pretty strong, and then we get another breakthrough here. Um, and we need more divisions down there as well. Okay, and they've also crossed the river here. Oh, and that, no, the NKVD uh, thing has been disp disbanded as well. Okay. Nikolaev has no factories left in it, right? Yeah. May have to begin the retreat to the dip Dipnir. And yeah, which is not going to be good. We have a lot of divisions in Crimea. Um, okay, fine. Well. Okay, so now it's going to be sending the reinforcements to the front. Uh, how am I going to do that though? Um, where are they going to come from is another question. Okay. Uh, this needs divisions. Uh, but since the Finns can't cross it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give, I'm not gonna, um, actually give them any this turn. Well, not unless, not, not until, um, we get more men. Uh, I think this is probably gonna be the most critical thing. So, where, where were all those new divisions formed? At 90, so we've got two near here and the rest are... Pretty or oh, pretty, pretty north. Here we go. Okay. We have three. Oh no, th this is going to be for our cavalry call, which we can form in December. So we got a little, a little uh, while ago. Okay, you can rail over here. Can you advance into the enemy territory? No. 
Unfortunate. Um, also, just retreat backwards, which I don't want to do as well. But he could be encircled. Which is probably even worse. Um, need a, we need something there just to slow them down. We need a lot more men. Uh, okay, you also. Oh, bloody me. Um, look, it's far enough behind the lines. I don't think it's going to be used anytime soon. Let's get you. No. Oh. There we go. Uh, off the train. You can't also can't move. Okay. Um, mm. Mm. Could pull back. Okay, no. You aren't doing anything, so you can move there. Okay. We're going to have to pull back certain men. This is extremely strong division, but it's also holding the line, so I can't move them. Oh, there's a lot of good divisions, but I don't want to pull them out. Okay, we're going to fall back to this line, so I'll move the... This 4-5 range is going to die, so I'm going to move the, that there. This can move there. Okay, well you move there. Oh, not both of you. Why can't I... Oh, because it's taken land, I can't move them back, unfortunately. Um... Don't advance. We need. Uh, well, that will slow them down a bit. So, unless if he advances that way, it would ho it will hopefully, just, yeah, slow them down. Uh, the bisque's gonna doesn't have any factories in it, right? Yeah, good. You're just gonna become a fortress city. And now, okay, this also needs reinforcements, but I don't, oh, I could, should pull them out from here, really. But I'm digging up my next line, because I know one day I'm going to have to uh, retreat to it. Kharkov is extremely important, and I should not be taking uh, stuff away from it, but I am. Also, why am I moving the, the set base with me? Why I get enough? Okay, four... Um, okay, so I can get one, four, uh, four, plus seven, that's not, not going to be enough. No, it's got way too little, way too little, uh, movement points to actually do something. And also I'm going to set up the Crimean defense, because I've got a lot of divisions here that aren't doing anything. So, one of you guys stronger one. It moves there. Let's carry the vision moves here. And, uh, these guys need to dig up the uh, forts because I want to hold on to Crimea as well. It's pretty useful. Um, we have this naval brigade which I could move there. I just retreat the infantry division because I don't think you get your Nick test is not really important. Okay, that's what we'll do there. I attach it with your father's southern front, 51st army. What is that? You can't, uh, these, these divisions are just part of the southern front. Uh, cost one. That's one M in uh, just do it. Makes it's probably better to attach them to the 51st Army than uh, to the front. Let's get all you guys there. I see you part of the. This is the 51st Army, you're part of the Sun Front. And I'll set your color to. Um, uh, what's what were the, the colours of in the south? Oh no no, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, 
Uh, probably something more. Kind of a few blue. Got you know, the green, the blue, red. A blue and reddish color. Let's just go uh, 200 to. Uh, no, uh, 10, 200. There we go. So we got them. That's the 51st Army holding Crimea now. So they need to start digging and we need to start holding. This is going to be an issue. Um, this, even the Romanians are pretty strong compared to us. Actually, no, 3 versus 5 we will, we will hold, but. Mm. Okay, let's throw you over here. Oh, come on. Stop moving the base armies with them. This is what the 12th army, which has nothing in it, so you can join that. Um, okay. Anti. Anti. Uh, yeah, anti tank and this cavalry division can form together, even though they're still less than one each. What's the. What's the damage you're looking at? What? Three. Uh, six, eight, not enough. Mm, still no, still can't attack, unfortunately. These divisions are doing really well, holding out. Um, also you two. Need to reinforce down here. Okay. Uh, since we move you both there, and I, mo I moved one of them, okay. I mean, the other one can. No, I can't go there for some reason. Mm. Touch you both to the 12th army. Oh, that's the 18th army. Misclick. Oh well. Okay. Um, can they join in the fight? No. Damn it. And they would have. It would have mess. You could have been the Mac. He's going to break through again, but hopefully these two. He would. He needs to push these two away as well, which will take time. But you know, he, st he will be able to do it. Uh, this is looking good. Um, the center bit, but this bit up at the north. God, it's because there's no river. If only, if only God had created a river between these two. Uh, it'd been so useful right now. But anyway. Uh, okay. There's literally nothing defending Moscow. The only divisions between uh, these pants division are these, this, and there's just all the free free reigns on Moscow. We we'll defend them with some HQs, but you know. Uh, so we they better not take it. Leningrad also needs to hold. Uh, where's okay? So where's the divisions? We've got a few down here. Morning Grummel. Uh and stuff. Hmm. So set that up. Uh could start build I uh, could you know, build more things in Rostov. Get them ready. Hey, these divisions are still refitting. And with these two cavalry divisions. Mm. Not doing anything. Probably should actually be moving them along here, this river, and then having them something there. Uh, but yeah, not where I did it now. Okay. Uh, this has nothing in it. Run Iskiv. Just want to make sure. Yep. Just manpower. So Minsk. Okay, I need to sign these divisions to an HQ. Do we have a spare one lying around? Yeah, I think this one. No, reserve fronts. We have a. We have the one up north, but this is. Uh, the 48th Army can move up here. Just remind me to put move some units up. This one, though. 
54th is going to be down here and take command of these men. I'm going to range to the 54th, right? Where's the 54th? There we are. In range? Oh, no. There we go. What color? I want something bright because there's a lot of uh, dark colors around here. Grays and uh, blacks. Play something uh, reddish. We've got this red and green. Uh, a green. Uh, um, what color? Okay, uh, let's let's go something red and green. Let's go 200, 210. Ah, oh, that's a disgusting color. Let's, uh, let's go 100, 210. Uh, more green. I want two green. Um, 200, 100, 10. Uh, maybe something more orange, something like that though. 200... Like 50, 50? No, too red. 200... Um... 150... 10. No, it's too brown. How do you, how do you make... Uh, orange with this? Uh... I guess that'll, that'll do. It's not really an orange. Oh, of course, we already have. You already have orange up there, so this is what brown, brownish color. There you go. Um, I hold the line there. Okay, so if they move here, they at least have the zone of control of these two divisions to contend with. It's completely open here, though, and they could take Vic, Vic like Luki. And if they do do that, we're in a lot of trouble. Because all it is is a short distance between there and there. And then they have all these armies in a giant pocket. And then... And then there's nothing, really. There's got no more reserves after that. Uh, besides this three cavalry divisions. But I'm trying to save them up for the... Um... For... The, um... Cavalry Corps, which we can form... Uh, in in December. Let's move you across as well. Let's put them there just to if they go for it. There's more divisions there. I should probably retreat you a little bit. Hmm. Or maybe I should move forward just to like hold them back. I like, guess and hold them for a bit. Is that? Let's just let's just move forward. Weaken them, but it would uh, at least now they got something to attack and slow them down. There's no divisions up in the north, so it's like a few things. This division's unready, but and two divisions up there, but don't have a whole lot of men left. I guess it's going to have to be left empty. Okay. So that's been... Well, that's... This just has... Uh, men in front of it. I mean, they they got superior combat strength and they're not firing across the river anymore. Which is an issue, but anyway, they're, they're going to probably break through. Uh, I probably should attach you to an army. While I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Part of the 49th. Yeah, one one versus ten. No, that's not gonna end well. Um, okay, looking down. At least we've got some men over here. Uh, 
could... I don't want to retreat move them because they're going to be our next line. We have another motorized... What is it? Another, yeah, motorized core. We've got two tank divisions in this motorized uh, division. But I don't want to move them even though this is doing pretty successfully. Because one day they're going to be in use. And because this is pretty flat land. Um, well, the steps over here are probably the best place to use them. But hopefully the Germans won't get to that far. This is pretty flat. I mean, up in the north is more infantry territory because of, of the rough terrain and the forests. Uh, which really, uh, which is good for us. Uh, and so is the German Panzers, but... Yeah, here's an issue. Because it's pretty flat until you get to Moscow itself, itself like here. Would have to be probably the next line against the German Panzers, but anyway. Also, if he pushes out long, far enough, uh, I'm gonna run out. I can't, I won't be able to hold the flanks. Which would be a really big issue for these guys. Um, holding here though, okay. I think I'm gonna start moving industry now. Uh, I'm always uh, open to um, what you think I should be doing right now. So, if you disagree with what I'm doing, I'll leave a comment in the comments below. And I'll, uh, and I'll, I'll have a look at it. But anyway, uh, okay, so Paul... Poltava has armaments production, which we need to move. Kharkov is extremely important, and I want to I want to move the T thirty factories out as one because I'm pretty sure if you don't move them out as one, they get destroyed. There's fifty nine of them. It's growing. Um, and Dip Dipneriosk is also pretty important. Yeah, sixteen armaments production. Yeah, so you got nothing, right? Resource production, I don't think we can move. Which is unfortunate because resources you need for um, uh, the factory uh, for factories. Um, I think Poltava is way more open. So you got eight. Who's got eight? Uh, you got four. Uh, manpower. Nine. You got six though. Molotov. I thought it was pretty full. Gorky, even though it's getting pretty close to the front. No, Gorky's producing everything. Uh, you got full factories in you. Oh, they're producing KV1s. Only two of them, but they're producing them. Which is a big issue if the Finns take it. Uh, could rail something to. Chip, chip, Polvetsk, which is going to be an issue for the Finns, because that's pretty close. Is there something here? No. Sertovov? No. Uh, Ufa? Uh, Manpower, 24. What are you actually producing? Okay, no, Ulfa's got plenty of space, so we'll put, move it to Ulfa. Let's see if we can move it all. It's gonna cost a lot, but we can do it. There's Ulfa there. So now, Pot, Pot Tava is empty, Sumi is empty. Uh, I don't want to move Kharkov. Yeah, Grommel's empty. Renansk isn't. So Mensk should be empty. Yep. Uh, empty, empty, empty. Reserve is probably the next going to be the next big one. Leningrad can't move out anymore. And okay. So this is manpower, right? Yeah. Oh, one manpower. Okay. So let's move Dipinovsk and. 16, boy, it's gonna be a lot of factories to move. Uh, can we still move them? Ufa has eight. Eight plus three is 11 plus 14, so yeah. 14, so I can 10. And I think that's probably gonna be max we're gonna be able to move. Let's just move all of this. No. And yeah, okay. Base nine, that should be enough. And move them there. Okay. 
So Dipro Novonsk is only has the twelve armaments production left. Okay, and start. And this is the real. Uh, these have the huge number of factories in them. Yeah, Stalino has thirty. Well, basically thirty armaments production. Uh, five vehicles and five heavy industry. Markia has uh, three armaments production, three heavy industry, seven resource production, which is yeah, important. And the same with Golovka. Volishivlograd has three armaments production. Something now. Stalino is the important one with the almost. 30 uh, um, moments production and now okay aircraft let's have a look at the air war probably really horrible and um, actually while I'm here let's just have a quick look at who's winning we won 74 battles we lost 531 there you go in terms of active divisions air bases the 193rd oh it's so doing so well they won three battles I think they need five to become a guards division. Where are you? Up here. Yeah, they're doing really well. Uh, during the winter, I'm probably going to have to work on making this division win the battles so they become guard men. And Sam Africa was disbanded. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so now air groups, uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done because there's going to be uh, a lot of stuff that's under 40 which I use as the you know, base front line, uh, uh, front line squadron should be uh, pff, should be above 40, there we go, I'm not sure where I was going with that conversation, but anyway, uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, I've finally finished uh, moving all the aircraft about, and also one thing to note um, about the air bases, you can have a maximum of 7 squadrons in them, uh, like uh, it doesn't matter about the amount of planes in them, it's actually the amount of squadrons, so you can only have a maximum of 7, and I believe transport planes can only take off from the, wait, let me show you, the v uh, VVS air bases, they cannot take off from the I. ABs or any other ones like the PBO or oh yeah I should be clicking on their bases I believe there's one more yeah SAB there's quite some others but them but anyway they only can take out take off from VVS's um, uh, well there you go so there's some more information for you uh, if you're wondering why your transport plants aren't taking off and I'm thinking about leaving it there let's just have a quick look at the OOB we have 4.2 million men, Germans have 3.4, um, with the Romanians and Hungarians, that's an extra million, the Italians another uh, 200,000, Finns another uh, 300,000, so roughly, so it's probably more like 4.9 million men for the Axis. Planes, uh, we're beating them, uh, 5,000 versus 3,000, but they got superior quality, and on to like the Yak 9s, yeah, is a Yak 9, I think, or Yak 7, uh, well, the next generation of Yak fighters are pretty good, well, at least on every, at least, uh, similar to the Mr. Schmidt, can go one for one, uh, tanks, 8,000 versus 5,000, Many of ours are obsolete still. Not uh, We do have a lot of T-34s starting to come into uh, service though. And 42,000 artillery pieces versus 34. And uh, that, it's, uh, when you add all them up, I think, yeah, it's roughly uh, roughly equal. Right, so now it's really one-to-one -one in terms of all equipment. Um, and we need, but if we're going to win the war, we need to change that though to it be in our favor. Axis losses, um, they lost quite a bit of men, 6,000 men to stand uh, from unsuccessful attacks. I mean, they total up to 100 and wait, uh, yeah, 137,000 men lost in terms of killed. We have lost 1,643,000 men, more like 44,000 men. And Mainly because of surrendered. Uh, if we just look at just men killed, it's a roughly 
roughly two to one. Um, for every one Axis uh, soldier loss, we've lost two men. Which I think is, yeah, about right. Um, air losses. Yeah, uh, good. Not looking good. 273 to 6,533. Which is, wow. Mainly just lost on the ground. At least h half of them were destroyed from the ground. The other half were common losses. Because planes and air parts aren't trained really well. Uh, this time we only... Whoa! For the first time, we've only lost 7 disbanded. Uh, 7 completely destroyed divisions. Uh, 4 we disbanded. Uh, we lost the Howitzer Regiment. Oh, that's probably because it was next to... Them. Long to this uh, HQ over here, unfortunately. But anyway, uh, Axis have 166 now. Uh, can't let them both have Leningrad and Moscow because that'd be disastrous for us. And I really want to see what he does here because this is going to be really important. What he does, uh, he probably won't push onto Semensk. It's too many men. Oh, well, next turn, how much men are we going to get? Next turn. Oh, uh, yep, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Yeah, this one. Okay, we're going to sign, sign a pick up, finally. 12, 12 turn, uh, turn, turn 12 would probably be the best. We really need all those men. Because there's literally nothing around Moscow. Yep. This is rail U somewhere. Oh no, don't have enough rail points. Okay. So I'm gonna have to leave it at that for now. Uh, there's two cavalry divisions here. Seven defense, not not good. Um, could probably probably should be retreating, but I also want to hold my ground because time. Um, I don't know. I could be making a very stupid mistake by not retreating. I mean, he only has a few divisions here, which indicates that he's probably he's moving all his men through this gap. Uh, he's gonna break through. I mean, where would he go? He would take some men's skin and he's pushing on. Now, it depends where these Panzer divisions go. He probably, he's probably gonna split off in two, in fact. He's probably, yeah, there's probably at least two Panzer Corps here. Yeah, he's going to move one up to play Vicky Luki, and the other one off to Moscow. And if he... This one's probably going to be the more dangerous one to me. Because at least in Moscow we have the reinforcing divisions, but this one's going to move up. Take this. And all these men are going to be cut off. And then we're going to have to do a giant breakout mission, which is going to be extremely difficult, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, there we got it. Oh, here we go. We've got another division here. Uh, let's just move them there. Can't fix this gap, unfortunately. Well, now if they move through here, it'll be incredibly hard for them to... If them, yeah, the zone control makes it pretty hard. And I think he's probably going to be moving that way anyway, so you probably have to take them out. Uh, but, yeah, he has to move... Yeah. We'll slow them down at least. He will have to attack them and slow them, which will slow them down. But anyway, uh, moving on. So this is this is the crisis, really. Everything else is looking good. Want to figure out where his infantry divisions are going, because if they're going up to Leningrad, they can probably break through. Um, but they were not going to do it just with Panzer and motorized divisions alone. Um, like, they can probably break through at one point, but they need to at least break through at three to uh, really get, uh, really to move into Leningrad. Don't think he's going to advance this way too much. Oh, he, he probably will advance up along the side of the river to cut off the ports and link up the fins up here, but he won't, he probably won't um, advance this way too much. Well, a lot of men here. I probably should, uh, let's do some auto refilling. Just have a bit of view of what he's doing. So that I do it. Okay, let's have a look at what we have. Okay, so he does. 
we know, okay, there's lots of air bases along here, which means his rail line, there it is. Yeah, he's it's, it's, it's converted uh, Riga to a um, German rail line, unfortunately. And these are, uh, yeah. Oh, he's also here with it. Unfor oh, if, I, if he left this open, I could attack it, which would be a real big thing, but, uh, but yeah, he's got, that's a Panzer Division. He does not have a lot of men up here, not from what I can see. Lots of air bases around here, a lot. There's probably three armies air bases along there. Lots of things along the back here. These are probably unimportant divisions. Uh, let's have a look down here. The Hungarians and Romanians are back. Uh, probably because you don't, yeah, they're not going to do too much. Ooh, I'm going to, I'm going to attack this, um, I'm going to, we're going to launch the first attack, uh, well, first attack of this game. Uh, I know it's the first attack, not the first attack in the series, because I did one before. Uh, which, then I restarted the one, yeah, but anyway. Um, we'll just attack this Romanian division and see how it goes. Uh, oh, two, you need a two to one odds, and then they retreat. But unfortunately... It held, uh, which sucks. Why does it? Why is it more hard to? There we go. It's fun now. And also, it did damage us a little bit, but unfortunately, well, there you go. This is the first attack of this new game. Um, you need this to be assigned to something. And the sixteenth army. And looking along, can't attack that. The 60 defense is pretty good. Um, okay, but let's leave that uh, like that for now. Um, probably going to end my turn. Anything else to look at? Weather, clear. Uh, I'm not sure what turn we get stuck in any snows, but we really need it. Well, actually, no, snows are both double edged sword, really, because it also freezes the rivers. Which makes this whole position then uh, extremely vulnerable because the Germans can cross at any point uh, with less. Uh, with um, without a combat penalty, and then uh, they'll probably smash into us. But also for the first uh, winter, they have a huge more loss, which I should be using to my to the full advantage and be attacking everywhere, and do a board front strategy. While the Romanians have a lot of airfields there as well. He's probably gonna start doing a bombing campaign against Odessa. Um, there's not too much you can do about it, so they're probably gonna die there, but anyway. Bung time. This is all about... This, the whole, the whole 1941 phase for the Soviets is just buying, buying time. So you can set up your men and stuff of 1942, and then, uh, try and parry the German, uh, offensive. Yep, that's gonna have to be it. Hmm. I wanna rail... Actually, oh, I can't rail anything, because they don't have rail points. Looked at that, looked at that, done that. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, okay, uh, bye bye.